So how do you how do you define your success? So what would be you know you either win or lose, and sometimes you you, you that will dictate how you feel. But a lot of the times, you know, a successful day is the fact that you woke up, had you know a nutritious breakfast, you trained hard, you know, you did everything you wanted to do that day. How do you define success? Yeah. So what I do now is I always let myself um, instantly define success with a win or lose. Mm. First and foremost, I allow myself to think that way because I know that my brain is going to go that way all the time. Like I know that I'm addicted to that. So I let myself pick that first, but then I always give myself three things after that, that Mm. would also be a win. So I, if I lose across the line, then I have to have three other things that might have made it a win. Yeah. Whether it's like holding form and being able to still like connect with the water in the right way, or whether I spoke up if I thought that something wasn't right, like just three small things that can contribute to a great row aside from whether I cross the line first or second. Mm. And I'll do that all the time now. Um, for a race as well so even for a small domestic race um i mean it's pretty obvious who crosses the line first but um i'll give myself three things for if i don't cross the line first did i stay sitting up through the second k did i pace out the race in the right way did i not try and go too early or yeah Mm. three things that i can measure without being the measure of across the line. <laughs> mm, that's cool. I, li- I like that. And and you physically write those down? Or Not always, but I'll, yeah. I, I definitely it. started off writing them down. Mm. Um, definitely after that 2016 summer, it got to the point where, um, I mean, that was all I was doing because I wasn't winning either. Mm. So um, I was losing and then just getting frustrated. And so I, it started with the smallest of things of saying, if I, if I, complete this race without um throwing my mood out the door with 500 to go then that's such a win for this week yeah yeah because i can imagine in in the middle of a race if you are quite far behind and you're maybe not going to make a place those feelings come up where you go oh forget it all right i'm just going to finish off here or do you have you know do you stick to your rhythm do you stick to your stroke? Do you stick to your, you know, your own self pride? And that's like a, that's a battle with yourself, isn't it? In, in that moment. Oh, it's a huge battle. And honestly, I think that's half of it, especially, and that's what we talk about in the eight all the time, because there comes a point in the race that um, you're just so uncomfortable mm. and you know, you're going to be uncomfortable for still a really long time. Mm. And that's where we talk about trust a lot and trusting in not only yourself physiologically and what you're capable of, but trusting in the rhythm of the boat and trusting that all the eight other seven girls are going to be thinking the same way that I will about that. Mm. Yeah. Are you in that being in a team as well? Is that the added feeling of, I don't want to let my next person down? Does that, that must help as well? Because if it's, or by yourself, you you kind of, you know, you can, you know, you yeah. don't mind if you let yourself down, but you don't want to let other people down. Is that the beauty of, of being in, a, in an eight? Yeah, and I absolutely pride myself on not wanting to let other people down. So I think that's why the switch into the sweep program really helped me because um, that 2016 summer I was in the single. So mm. it was easy for me um, to perform poorly or to have a bad mood by the end of a race and I wasn't accountable to anyone whereas I'd be horrified in the eight if anyone ever thought that of me these days so Mm. switching into the sweet program definitely helped that for me because then I was accountable to other people and um, I valued wanting to um, lead by example and set a good example so Mm. I think yeah that definitely helped Mm. 